guys! I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fuss from Kyujin Cosplay and today we are still watching Digimon Adventure 3 Movie 2 Episode 3 guys Yeah! Movie 2 Determination And so far it's been a blast Yeah, we really really enjoyed this Watching our favorite characters being so mature and uh, they grew up and they're having these problems It's a new thing for us and we like this Last episode was so heavy on Mimi and Joe yeah. And uh, she all, spent like, she spent half of the crisis. No, but she spent half the episode like being angry at Joe and it ended up being us being like, poor Joe! <laughs> well, the thing is It's not, he's not the only one. Many characters so far in Digimon Adventure 3 are reacting a certain way, they are acting a certain way towards what's happening but they have their they have their reasons and at the same time it's not like they they're egocentric like it's not that they want to leave this behind it's just that they're conflicted and we both understand why they are acting like this and we understand we understand their struggles but we want them to step up we to the plate understand, but we still don't like them we don't like, don't, like don't like it. Don't like it because we, like we love the characters. We just we don't like to see them struggle so much. With, and we know they where they need to be. We know what they want to do. And it's it breaks us. It, it breaks our hearts to see them struggle so much. Like Joe cried last episode because he wants to be with his friends and he wants to do what he needs to do. And he's conflicted with his own heart. I mean, it's it's harsh. But do but, it. He just needs to do it! I know, but he needs courage for that, and it's not his crest. No, that means this. Yeah, reliability. Reliability? Reliability. Yeah, he's not really reliable right now. Right now he's not, no. He's not! But I mean, Ty isn't that courageous either right now. Well, at least he did something! Math is being uh, more mad at his friends than a, a real he's friend. He's still fighting for his friends! Mimi is being sincere though, we can say <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah. let's not keep you waiting anymore, guys, and press play. I am pressing play right now. Oh, oh my love. <laughs> so one thing, though, since we've seen this show in French when we were kids, we didn't grow up with the original uh, Japanese opening. And uh, or when they did evolve, we didn't grow up with this song. So when we watched the first episode of Tree, we didn't notice that it was the same song as season one. So we we missed out on that. But now that we know, I'm kind of a bit, you know, I'm fine girling over this. <laughs> oh, we're fine girls. <laughs> Ow! You said it. We were. Vengeance! You said Vengeance! You said you were above this in the last episode. I'm still above it. He's changing too. Oh. <laughs> He's not in a right state of mind to talk to him. <laughs> She's reading him like a book and she doesn't know it. <sighs> like Kari just doesn't realize that she's she's nailed him. <laughs> It's part of who you are. Come on, I have done your feelings. Oh, that was delicious. <laughs> Gomamon just twisted the knife without knowing. <laughs> Did you just left? Oh, 
Imama, thanks for every what? He left? I think he believes that Joe needs time by himself to figure things out. Is he watching them? Well, give him a pokey too. <laughs> you need a snicker, dude. Gomamon? What? Joe Senpai from Gomamon got here. Then I'll tell you where he is. Ah! Wait a minute. Is Joe Senpai worried? Please. Please. <laughs> freaked out now, freaked out! Well, it's his friend, I mean. Whether he wants to participate or not, he's a, he has a right to be worried. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's like all male. Did you say too? Yes, I must say. Oh, how would you want to be the kids dressed up as a chicken? It's a cute chicken. Just go. Man, you're gonna feel so so much happier. Freaking get it! Scan, okay. She said it. So we have confirmation, but his poor reactivated or his poor, his poor, his poor, or maybe he's just helping from the shadows. A show performance. <laughs> oh, she said that they were gonna put to dance. Yeah. Alone. I mean, Mimi's there. <laughs> Good. 
extremely <laughs> urgent. <laughs> 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 Ah, the teacher knows something! <laughs> I'm coming right away. What are you doing? You said that you were a Digimon partner before you were a Digimon partner. Oh. I mean, it's not like they had time to grow up and, or be kids. Oh, they're playing! Well, he needs to play a sport? Knife of day? <laughs> Knife of ramen! Like, no one's stopping them! <laughs> what? Oh! He's like the only adult there, like, stop it! <laughs> but Garaman's an adult too. Oh, who cares? She's always in champion mode. Oh, she's begging too. Look at her. He doesn't know. Yamato, Chodo Kata, Agumontasica, Chaterenda, Agumontasco. Ima, Kimokawa Kara contest on Tetramita, Orekara and Sujede, Yosumini Tigrenaga. Wagata, Mada Kotayo Kitanai, Nase Omega Mugatayo Toketa, Arifa Mutao Setakara, Sore de Ida. It's Toketa. Let's talk about it. Oh, man. I know what's up. And I think Ty is... Ty's worried that he's gonna face the truth if Matt keeps talking or keeps asking him the right questions. But yes, I think that's what's up. Matt knows that something's wrong with Ty and Ty doesn't want to acknowledge it. And actually, Kari just basically said it all <laughs> without 
Well, wanting to, but uh, brothers yeah. Brothers and sisters always knows what's going on with Joe. Joe has siblings. yeah. Joe has a problem, and he doesn't want to face the truth. He is a digitist, and he needs to be a, a digitist and for the world to be safe. And Ty has a, a problem, a similar problem. He needs to face the truth, and there's something going on in his head, and he doesn't want to face it. And Matt, being the the friend he is, knows that something's wrong. And he's trying to force him to acknowledge it. It's gonna take time. I mean, it might between these two, it might take the whole six movies. The whole six movies. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Well, aside from that, they didn't um, figure it out since the, at the end of the season one. So maybe it won't. oh, they were okay at the end of season one. That meant they, they grew up and they matured. That's why they have these problems now. As a kid, you don't you don't really care about. The consequences of your actions. You don't think about these things. You just want to do what's well. You're being told you you're a digitist and you need to fight. You're gonna do it. That's why Kari and TK were the ones with the least problems with being a digitist because they were the youngest. Yeah. So they didn't really care about. Do I have to do this? Is it okay? <laughs> no. They Kari just did it. always seems to be a little bit special about it. Yeah, she <laughs> always knows what's going on, what she needs to do. Anyway, but uh, yeah. Uh, it was nice to see May uh, loosen up a bit. Well, she she wanted to try oh. and then she... <laughs> <laughs> My God, Izzy has such a huge crush on me. Well, it was Joe in the in the first few seasons, but now yeah, I guess was Izzy... Joe. They're the same age and uh, Mimi's not that bad looking. And she's actually the opposite of Izzy. That might be why he's so attracted to, to her to her and her personality and uh, her physique. <laughs> So yeah, it was cute. He, he he went there like he was gonna ask her to marry him, like Tux and and Bo and stuff. <laughs> T-shirt sent a photo of Mimi in her cheerleading outfits. Come, I'm on my way right now. <laughs> Coming, <laughs> <laughs> but never leave DG Mons alone. My, come oh, on, no. it's they're gonna be attracted by food and festival. And how cute was that? That Leo Mon is basically us when we watch like the little DG Mons. Like it's hard first. <laughs> He's uh, so, they're the, so the cute. Was, uh, uh, a slow but nice episode to watch. I also like that like, Ty saw Gomamon on stage with a bait, but well, Padamon, Padamon, what? Palmon. Palmon was there Palmon too. Palmon, not yeah. Padamon. Palmon was under. He basically, he didn't really freak out. He's just, well, eh. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a normal that's day. life. <laughs> that's life. But yeah, that was nice. And what the hell? Now we know it's Ken. Like, we know it's Ken, but why is he there dressed as the emperor? I think something called... Was he infected? Well, Can you... I mean, what's wrong? Something came wrong. But yes. one thing good with that, though, is once we get to speak to Ken, we might know what happened to Davis, Yoa, and Cody. Maybe. I want to know. Like, I don't really... I don't really care about them, but since they are a part they're of the They're still story, human. <laughs> yeah. Come on. They're since, the kids. Since they they're are... even younger than the, it's the okay. first generation. Since they are a part of the story... I still want to know what's going on. I mean, I'm not gonna write them off like that because I don't like them. It's just that, yeah, we saw them being destroyed. So what's going on? I don't know. It's still just the second movie. So we'll see. Ken is there. So that, that answers that. But something's wrong with him. Yep. <sighs> it's nice also to see that Mimi... Uh, she was in a low, care of like May. no, but she was in a low at first, and now now she's just enjoying herself because May took care of her. May May uh, cheered her cheered her up, cheer her up, yeah. So yeah, she I, I was happy that she did that. She's she still feels a bit like out of the group. She's not she doesn't think she belongs there completely, but she stepped up a little and she made Mimi laugh and she agreed to do her idea and that was that was funny. So that's good. That's that. And Joe is like this close to going to the festival to get Gomamon. Because I, I think if there is one thing that's going to convince him to go, it's his friend. Hurts. Gomamon is his best friend. They haven't seen each other for a while, but he, they're really close. And uh, I think if there's one person or one Digimon that can convince him to go, yeah. it's going to be Gomamon. Did you think it was uh, kind of selfish to... Uh, lie to Joe about where Gomamon was was? Well, it's Gomamon's choice. I mean, especially now like there are bad Digimons attacking and there's 
buildings being destroyed and they were being attacked left and right and Gomamon just up and left. I understand why Joe's worried. But Joe has his problems and they concern Gomamon directly. Cause he's being he's feeling left out and not left out, but Joe is doesn't want to have any part in well that's how he acts right now. He, he acts like he's he doesn't want to have any part in the digital world and Gomamon is part of the digital world. So it's one or the other. It, it it's both or neither. I mean you're he's gonna have to choose and I understand that Gomamon whoa oh, sorry. I understand that Gomamon feels down by Joe's attitude towards it. And the last time they saw each other he was crying and saying I'm sorry. I think maybe Gomamon feels responsible for making Joe sad because I think by being there he thinks Joe feels obligated to do something but he doesn't want to. So I think I think Gomamon left because he felt like by being there he reminds Joe of his duty even though that's not what he wants to do right now. Yeah. So I think he left because he, Joe needs his space. But by doing that, he's going to actually do the opposite. He's going to push Joe to realize that he wants to be a part of the team. Uh, oh. anyway. All right. So yeah. that's it, guys. We just watched Digimon Adventure 3, Movie 2, Episode 3. Yep. And only one left for Movie 2. Only one left and so many questions left. But I hope we get to speak to Ken at least once in the next episode. Or I, I, I it looks like Joe's gonna go to the festival, so at, at least one of the other. Well, it looks <laughs> like it, but maybe that's not it. Because it's a movie, so they cannot end it without answering a few questions. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see. Oh, anyway, right. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.